Amber in Wolverhampton, uh, interviewing taxi drivers. What's your name, sir? Roger Abdurrahman. How long have you been a taxi driver? Uh, 30 years. And uh, what do you think about all, uh, all the thousands of taxi drivers from across the country who register in Wolverhampton? It's uh, just a loophole they need to set by the government. Uh, I suppose it's good for the council, they're making money, uh, but it doesn't affect us. Well, not the hacking of the train, anyway. What, does it affect your fee? Do you think it brings, no? Uh, it, the only thing it affects us, like, with, with, with Uber, Uber and, go, you know, uh, app cars, you know, if they, they got app cars, they just call the app and call the engine. And what about, why do you think people uh, are registered, why do you think taxi drivers are registering in Wolverhampton? It's, uh, it's easier, the test is easier, and uh, it's easy to get an appointment, and it's not so hard. Really? You know, yeah. How long do you normally have to wait for your appointment? Oh, we don't, no, Hackney is good actually. Okay. Hackney is good. good. Hackney with Hackney. We get appointment, if you want an appointment, say if I want to renew the license or the badge, it's really good actually. But I've no idea what the situation would be with a private hire. But if you go out to the butter, their fees are more, and the waiting's longer, and it's probably cheaper here as well. So that's, that's the reason why it's, it's a, so popular. It's a win-win situation for the council. So, but the other thing is, like, say, if I was to insure my vehicle now, a lot of the insurance brokers will not insure a cab license in Wolverhampton. Why not? Because uh, too many accidents. Every vehicle they're saying is because it's registered in Wolverhampton. We don't want to know. Well, that's interesting. Uh, there's quite a few companies that I used to be with, they've turned us down. So it is negatively affecting taxi drivers in, in Wolverhampton, yeah. they, because if it's a class in Manchester, it's registered yeah. in Wolverhampton. Yeah, they, they, because they only insure you because they'll ask you where you're licensed, yeah. and it's Wolverhampton. Thanks a lot. Hope no you get many passengers today, sir. No worries. No worries. Have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah, it is wrong what Wolverhampton Hill has done by seeing all these licenses. They have messed up every taxi driver's livelihood. Yes? And they're still doing it. And when we questioned them, and they turned around and they go, well, it's government guidelines. They're not breaking any laws. Yeah. And that's what they can't How does it affect you? Uh, what's your name first, sir? Oh, oh, my name's Amrik. Yeah. How long have you been a taxi driver for? Uh, 25, 26 years now. So, what, what, what do you think the effect is on, on local taxi drivers? Are all these people from across the country coming in? There is nothing we can do. I think we're all waiting for retirement. <laughs> <laughs> so, as soon as the day comes, that's it. Yeah. Right? Is it, is, there's, there's nothing else we can do. Is it not as easy as it used to be the taxi Oh, day? no, it's not. Oh, well, I come out at half past seven. Yeah. I've done two jobs. Okay. Right? And I have earned. 12 and 6, 18 pounds. Okay. Now, I can't see a taxi driver who's got kids, a mortgage, yeah? And the bills, you know, the gas, electric, and yeah. all that. If he was to buy a small little house, I can't see them paying all that unless they're down here 18, 20 hours a day. And you tell me how long can a taxi driver work for 18, 20 hours a day? Yeah. Yeah. Your back goes. Yeah. Right. Your brain goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what about all these other? How, how come they're registered in Wolverhampton? Well, I think they, this council has found a loophole in somewhere. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if somebody was clever enough, they could figure it out. But I think the majority of us just give up. We don't want to argue with the council anymore. And you can see the town centre's empty. Yeah. You just sit around. Right? Do you think there should stop. be other, other ranks in different places? Well, they're closing them. Yeah. Uh, and from what I've heard, they've closed the one by Beatties. Yeah? And we got a little rank by Queen Square. Yeah. All that street's going to be blocked off. I've heard in the next three, four weeks' time. Okay. No, no, nobody can go through there. So where... This is the only rank that's left. And the waiting time on this rank is already two hours odd before you get a passenger. Wow, two hours before you get a passenger. Well, well I was just told you, half past seven yeah. I come out. After two hours is a job coming to Cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth it. Uh, and he just potluck, what sort of a job he got. It could be five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, then you come back, you get back in the queue again. 
then slowly just and that's how it is well i hope you have plenty of passengers today yeah. like i says can't wait to retire my mate <laughs> how long how long to retirement oh, oh uh, probably another six months or so oh okay so oh, i haven't got long to go so i'm all right